Hey guys, um, today I think I'm going to uh, pull the uh, Q9300 out of the Antic and uh, do some lapping on that and also on the Roswell Z3 cooler. I've had this one running overclocked at 3 gigahertz. Um, everything runs great, but the temperatures could be a little bit better. Right now it's just sitting at stock at 3 gigahertz, and this is the uh, four core temperatures I'm running. Um, yesterday I ran a Prime 95 on it for about an hour and a half, and I did see one core hit uh, 60 degrees, and the other one's up in the upper 50s. So we're going to see if we can drop some of these temperatures down, if uh, lapping the two will really uh, do much on the quad cores. I've done one on the uh, dual core Intel, but never on a quad before, because I didn't want to uh, break the warranty on it. But these uh, CPUs are two years old. There's only one more year on the warranty anyway. So I think I'm going to go ahead and lap this one and see if we can improve the scores. I'm going to fire up uh, Prime 95 a little bit and show you the temperatures in that before we shut it down and pull the CPU out. Okay, we've been running Prime 95 for, oh, probably about 45 minutes or so. Uh, if you can see, the max temperature on the one core is 60. We had uh, 55 on one and 57 on two of them. That's not terrible running uh, Prime 95 like that, but we're going to see if we can better them scores a little, have something to compare it to beforehand. So I just wanted to get a shot of this before we tear it down and pull the CPU up. I wanted to get a shot of it here before I pull the CPU just to show you that uh, on the uh, Z3 cooler and on the CPU, they both had the Arctic Silver on it. Um, we had pretty good dispersion on it, good contact between the uh, cooler and the uh, CPU, so that obviously was not our problem with heating. But uh, just to confirm that, I wanted to show you this before I clean the uh, compound up. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but uh, this is pretty typical on most Intel uh, CPUs that I've seen. Um, you see all the copper around the edges and stuff. Um, pretty typical, they seem to have a high ridge all around the outside of them with the center where the cores is kind of concaved a little. I'm not sure if that's intentional by Intel or if that's uh, just something in the manufacturing process or possibly even uh, in the way I'm sanding. I'm trying to keep them really flat when I'm sanding it so it isn't sanding at an angle. But I'm um, just curious if any other guys have run across that. It seems like every one of these Intels I do. Uh, always starts the same with taking the uh, nickel off the outside, working the way towards the center. Okay, we got it all polished up, if you can uh, kind of see the reflection there. I didn't do a super duper job on this one because I'm not worrying about getting a mirrored image on it, just making sure it's flat and getting it all down to copper. But that's, uh, that's pretty good. I also hit just the, the top of the uh, heat sink too. Um, that's already all copper, so I didn't shine it up, but just to make sure it was flat and uh, we get good contact there. So I'm going to put it back in the board and start putting things back together. Okay, we uh, put it back together once. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot of time lapping it, so I had stopped that 1000 grit, but uh, I also uh, used some of this uh, Radio Shack heatsink compound as a silicone based on it and ran some tests, uh, ran it in there for a couple of days. It uh, decreased the temperatures about three to five degrees, depending on room temperature. Not too bad, but I think we could have done better. So I took the CPU back out and uh, this time I did hit it with some 1500 and some uh, 2000 to get it uh, really buffed up nice. And I also hit the uh, heat sink with some 1,000, uh, 1,500, and 2,000 also to get a uh, better surface contact. And this time around we're going to uh, be putting it back together with Arctic Silver 5 instead of the silicone. Um, this doesn't work too bad, but uh, I still think you get a better uh, heat transfer with the uh, Arctic Silver compound. So I just wanted to get a shot of the CPU and stuff again before we... Uh, put her all back together and uh, then we'll check the temperatures again. Okay, we uh, got it up and running. Um, 
thermal base isn't completely cured yet, but uh, close enough to start doing some tests on it. Uh, looks like our idle temperatures on our cores are anywhere from like 39 to 42, depending on what's running. Um, not too bad at idle. Um, still running the 3 gigahertz overclock on it. Um, I'm going to start running the Prime 95 benchmarks and see what our temperatures get up to. Okay, we've been running Prime 95 here for well, about 40 minutes or so. Um, <clears throat> doing the screen recording and stuff is raising the temperatures a little bit more than it, it probably should be. But uh, as you can see, all our temperatures are right around mid 50s, uh, 53, 52, 53, up to about 55. So, uh, pretty nice improvement over the 60 or so we were getting before the lapping. So, I'm uh, pretty happy to get a uh, 5 degree temperature drop with that. Uh, well, worth taking a little bit of time it was to uh, get it lapped. 